Hi guys, um, this is Halima, or also Barry Love, and I'm here to answer your questions. Um, to thank you for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. Okay, so first is Skittles XX721, who asks, um, what songs do you recommend beginner dancers to try? Which songs have the least complicated dance moves? Preferably guy groups. Okay, um, well, most guy groups have fairly complicated dance choreography, but, um, maybe Super Junior's No Other is fairly easy. Um, I haven't really tried to learn it, but, I mean, you could give it a try. Next is Nirvana Chick 05, who asks, um, do you live by yourself? Because when I try to dance, my parents and brother always want to come downstairs and be in the camera. Um, no, I do not live by myself. Um, I'm still in high school and I live with my parents and my little brother, who is very annoying. Um, so I can understand what you mean, but I always try to film when no one's home. Like basically when I come home from school and like no one else is there, I film by myself. Um, if I film when other people are around, usually because my brother's also at home, and like I have to try and find a way to make sure he stays upstairs, which is really hard because he always has to come downstairs, sneak up on me. But um, yeah, it gets really annoying. Okay. Um, okay, Nirvana Chick also asked, uh, how did you get into K-pop and what state do you live in? Also, how long have you been dancing? Okay. Well, I'll start off first. I live in South Florida, Sunshine State. <laughs> I've been taking a formal dance lesson since I was about five years old. I do ballet, tap, jazz, flamenco. Um, I've also done modern, and every now and then I take hip hop classes. Um, how did I get into K-pop? Well, I guess you could say I got into K-pop starting from J-pop, which started from anime, you know, like Sailor Moon kind of stuff. But um, there was this one website, J-Pop Asia, where I used to go and find out all the information I need to about Japanese music, but they also featured Korean music and um, Chinese music. And one day, um, well, the first Korean artist that I ever listened to was Boa, and that was because I listened to Japanese music. But I eventually discovered artists like Yonha and um, Big Bang and the Wonder Girls, and then on that website I also saw Shiny, and then like, yeah, just, I just got more and more um, into it as, you know, time went on. Okay, so, Nadu Sasu136 asks, um, what's your favorite K-pop boy band? I just said it, Shiny! Um, <laughs> I love Shiny, like, okay, never mind. I'm not even going to go into much how much uh, like I love Shiny because everyone, all my friends are probably tired of me already. All I do is talk about Shiny, 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 Shiny. <laughs> okay, the next question. Um, Katie11 asks, um, how long does it take for you to memorize a K-pop song? Well, I don't know if you mean like singing a K-pop song or learning like a dance, but I mean if it's singing, normally like after listening to it a while I get certain words. And then if it's a song I really like to sing, I'll probably look up the romanized lyrics and the hangu and, you know, try and, like, I guess sing it over and over again and memorize it. But with the dance, um, it all depends on how difficult the dance is and, um, maybe the, the, yeah, it depends on how difficult the dance is. I mean, if it's a hard dance, um, it'll, it could take me, like, a few days, maybe even weeks, and also depends on how much free time I have. But if it's an easy dance, it could take me like 15 minutes, half an hour, maybe a day, you know. I mean, it depends. Okay. Um, K-pop fangirl3213 asks, um, how did I get into K-pop? Uh, I just answered that question, like I said before, um, through J-pop. Uh, Asgirl55 says, um, what is it about K-pop that you like the best? Well, I would have to say that um, what really appeals to me at first is how m the majority of the artists are trained, you know, they each come from a company and they, they study dancing and singing for so long. Um, I also liked how as all the members of the group, not even groups, just even solo artists, 
they're all like um, well-rounded in terms of talent. They can sing, they dance, they act, you know, in TV shows. And um, I like how in the group formula, you have like the rapper, the singer, and the dancer, and the fact that they can all, you know, still do the same thing. And, you know, they, they, they have such determination to me, I think. Um, I guess you could say also like the catchiness of the song. And even that, um, even other than that, you know, everyone's just, everyone seems so talented in K-pop. Like, I don't look at groups and be like, oh, they suck because they had to work hard to get to that point, you know, and even if they might ha not have a good song out right now, I think each group, each artist, solo artist, um, they work really hard, and, you know, that's what I like best. Um, next question, Rami Chan asks, are you ready for me? Um, Sort of. I mean, I don't really have a lot of free time to, like, study Korean on the side, but when I can, like, over the summer, I try to, like, study it. But, yeah, I just always got caught up in something else. But, um, basically, I only know, like, basic, you know, like, hello, I don't want to like, those kinds of things and random phrases I hear in dramas. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm sort of studying. But I'm not fluent at all. I'm not, no, not like that yet. Alright. Tatia Mimosa asks, um, have you ever performed some of these K-pop dances on stage or somewhere else? Um, no, I have not performed any K-pop dance on stage before. Um, my school club, the Club of the Arts that I'm a president of, um, we're planning a show, and I keep trying to find ways to incorporate K-pop into it, but, um, no, I haven't performed on stage or anything like that yet. Okay. Angel, Angelic Lily asks, how long does it take before you get exhausted? <laughs> yeah, well, when I, um, when I learn the dances, I mean, I can take a break whenever I feel like, but after, like, a couple of hours, I just keep going on and dancing. I do get tired. Like, I actually sweat when I'm dancing, you know, like, it's a lot of work. And, um, when I, when I record, I usually try not to do more than three takes because after the third one, I'm tired and I don't want to like show you guys in my video that I'm tired. So usually by like the third or fourth take, even if I make a mistake, I'll just feel like I'm done because I'm tired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Star Singer 8192 asks, where do you learn to speak Korean? Um, well, besides from like dramas and even K-pop, you can learn a lot of phrases from that. Um, there's this one website that I, I um, discovered over the summer that's really, really good. I mean, you can just look up things online or buy books, but um, this website is called, I think it's Korean Class 101 or Korean 101. I'll try and put a link in the video um, when I remember the exact website. But um, they also have a YouTube channel that has really good um, videos to teach you how to learn Korean, and the website is very extensive as well. Alright, next question. Um, Forever Hime asks, do any of your friends know about you dancing to K-pop, and do they think it's cool? Um, I do have friends that know about me dancing to K-pop. Some of them are into K-pop, and most of them aren't. So, I mean, a lot of them, I'm not going to say a lot of them, well, a lot of them think I'm weird or, like, annoying because of it, because I'm always like, K-pop, K-pop. But, um, I guess my friends, some of my, I guess some of my friends think it's, you know, interesting, I guess. <laughs> um, the Lucha Roses asks, uh, do you want to live or work in Korea one day? Um, well, I do want to study abroad in Korea someday, maybe when I'm in college. And I think it'd be really cool to work there, not even as a singer and entertainer, but like I want to go into advertising, so maybe in an advertising firm over there. Cause I like I like their CS and stuff, that was really cool. Um, CK Pip. Hi Pinky. <laughs> um, hopefully I said your name right. <laughs> um, she asked, can I steal some of your talent? No, you may not because you're really more talented than I am. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, last question is by Cell Phone Ye and um, this person asks, how long does it take you to learn the dances? Also, how do you learn the dances? Do you just watch the video over and over again? Then do you do it that way? Or do you find tutorials? Um, I answered already how long it takes to learn the dances. Basically, it depends on the difficulty of the dance and how much free time I have. Um, how do I learn the dances? 
Um, I usually remember dances from the music video, the live performances, um, maybe even fan cam. And um, if it's not already mirrored on YouTube, I'll find a way to mirror it myself. But um, sometimes I can learn without the mirror, but if it's a really hard dance, then I'm going to need it mirrored. And um, maybe I'll look at a slow version if it's a hard dance. Also, um, yeah, basically I watch it over again. I, I might break it up into parts. Like, uh, the first two counts of eight, I learned that part, and, you know, break it down, and then I try to look away from the video and, like, practice without the video, then move on, you know, basically, so it helps me to memorize the dance. Okay, so the person asked, um, do you find tutorials? I don't normally follow tutorials because, um, I'd rather follow the artist and, like, you know, get it as accurate as possible, but, I mean, if the dancer that's trying to teach the dance is really good, then, you know, I'll follow them. But um, I watch Wawa dance school videos, like the guy, um, he calls himself Rookie, he's like really amazing, really good dancer. Um, I've also watched this tutorial to learn Mooster, that um, cutting part that I couldn't really get right and I still don't know how to do. But um, yeah, her tutorial was really good and um, I put a link in the video because she's an awesome dancer, you guys should check her out. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I love you all. <laughs> Annyeong. Bye-bye.